All right, let's do some integrating. Um, kind of complicated looking function here. I think what we're going to have to do in this case is we're going to have to utilize u substitution. So what I'm going to want to do is pick out some u that is going to be an inner function. So as I can see this, uh, I think we have the x to the fifth is inside the e to a power function, inside of an exponential. So let's go ahead and make that the inner function, right, the u. Next, what I want to do is go ahead and take the derivative of both sides. So on the left-hand side, we're going to get a du. On the right-hand side, we go ahead and say that's going to be 5x to the fourth, and then we always put a dx on this side. All right, now kind of breaking down what we have and what we want to have, I notice that our exponent is going to get replaced with a u, so we're okay with that. We want, so we should end up with like e to the u power inside this integral. We want everything else to be replaced with that red equation somehow. So you can see in the red, uh, in our function we have x to the fourth, well we've got that down here, and we have dx, got that down here, but we don't have a 5 in the original integrand inside the integral. So what I'm going to do is just rearrange our equation a little bit and move that 5 to the other side by dividing both sides by 5, or multiplying by 1 fifth is equivalent to that. Now what we want to do is go ahead and replace things in. So we have an integral. We're going to have e to the u power, and then the x to the fourth dx is going to get replaced with 1 fifth du. Now I typically write the du at the end because that constant, the one-fifth, is just a number. I'm going to put that outside of the integral symbol. From here, we need to integrate, but <clears throat> we've made this a lot simpler. Right? We just have to integrate e to the u power, which is also going to be, well, e to the u power. Now that we've integrated, we also want to include a plus c because this is an indefinite integral. We don't have bounds of integration. And then to finish this up, well, our answer right now has u involved. Our original only had x's, so we need to get back to x's. So to do that, what we want to do is use our definition of u from the very first line I wrote down, and we're going to replace u with x to the fifth. Bring along that plus c, plus a constant at the end. There's our antiderivative. Now you could always double check by taking the derivative of what we just found. It should end up being x to the fourth e x raised to the x to the fifth power. So good luck as you're working on these. It takes practice, but you'll get there.